In this video, we're going to add a file open dialog window to your Flutter Windows app using the file picker package. So let's jump right into it. We're gonna go ahead and gut this. Change this to open file app. We'll do a stateless widget here. Then we'll add our material app. We'll go ahead and call an open file app home here. We'll create one more stateless widget down here. This one will be called open file app home. Then we'll do a scaffold. A center, an elevated button, we'll just say open file, and then we'll add an unpressed, we'll add our const here, and a const here. Run that. So here we go, but nothing's happening at the moment. Next thing we're going to do is go ahead and add the file picker package. So we'll go into the terminal and we'll top in flutter pub add file picker. If it worked correctly, you should see it in your pub spec YAML file. We'll import it here at the top. Now, once you add the plugin, you may see an error that says building with plugins requires symlink support. To get rid of that message, you need to enable developer mode on your Windows system. So you can do that by going to the start button, going into settings, you'll go to update and security, you'll go to for developers, and then you'll enable developer mode right here. So now at the top of open file app home, we're going to add a method. We'll just call it pick file. And in here, we're just going to call pick files from file picker. And then in the on pressed, we need to call that method. So now when we click open file, it should open up for us. Now we're gonna grab the file that you select with the dialog window and print it to the console so we can see how that works. Inside our pick file method, we're going to first do this line. And what this is saying is if result equals null, that means that they didn't make a selection and we can just exit out of pick file. Now we'll grab the file information. And then I'm just going to print that to the console. So we open the window We'll just pick this readme file here. And there we can see that it printed the path and file name into the console. Now I just chose path because I wanted the full path and file name, but there's actually a few other options if you want to do something else. File picker also has support for multiple files. We just need to make a few modifications. First inside here, we'll add something. And then we'll remove these two lines here and do this. So 
So since multiple files are going to be coming through the pick files results now, we'll just iterate through those results and display each file separately. So I'll open the file and I'll click this and this and hit open. And you'll see both of those displayed properly. There's a few other things that you can configure within pick files. You can set the dialogue title. So when we open the file, you'll see it now says select a file for our app up here. You can say you only want certain types. You'll see now that only video types are showing. And if you want to get even more specific, you can use custom here. You'll see that those are the only options now. And just like with file, you have a few other options if you want something different. So that should get you an open file dialog window in your Flutter Windows app. In a future video, we'll look at saving that file in various locations. You might also take a look at this video. And if you're enjoying this video and would like to see more, please consider subscribing. Thanks, and I hope to see you in the next one.